falling stairs, falling scaffolding, and falling bathtubs. I'm Peter Billigus, and this is Money in the Movies. Hello and welcome to Money in the Movies, a show where we review films based on their financial accuracy. Today's movie is The Money Pit, directed by Richard Benjamin and starring Tom Hanks and Shelley Long. It also stars this guy from the TV show The Wire and this guy from the TV show The Wire. The film is about a young couple abruptly forced out of their city apartment on very short notice. They begin the difficult task of finding a place to live when they stumble upon a deal that seems too good to be true. After their first day in the house, they find out the hard way that it was too good to be true. The tension of money, constant renovation, and the constant invasion of carpenters and plumbers and workers into their home takes a toll on the young couple but eventually they get through it and they find themselves in a beautiful home. So for our purposes, is the film accurate? Well, when you buy a home, you sign a contract with the seller called a purchase and sales agreement. Now in this contract, the seller must disclose any known defects in the home. In the case of the money pit, defects that drastic would be a violation of the purchase and sales agreement because there is no way the seller could have not known that all these things were wrong. But the fact remains that many people bite off more than they can chew when they buy a home. Here quickly are my top four traps that people fall into when they buy a house. Trap number one, there is no such thing as a fixed rate payment when you get a loan to buy a home. Now many people believe that if the interest rate on their loan is fixed, their monthly payments will never go up. But while their monthly loan payments will never go up, Taxes and insurance payments can go up at any time, so be sure to factor that in. Number two, get a home inspection. And unless the property is on town water and town sewer, get a well and septic inspection as well. If the well or septic system is broken, that will be an expensive thing to get fixed. Number three, pay attention to the age of the appliances. Remember, home inspectors will only tell you what is currently defective with the home you are buying. If the furnace doesn't work or if the back porch floorboards need to be replaced, then a home inspector will alert you to that. But remember, on a home, just because something currently works doesn't mean it's fine. A 22-year-old roof may not leak, but it will need to be replaced very soon. 20-year-old furnace may work, but be sure to factor in a new furnace into your budget. Or the big one that everyone overlooks is the driveway. Even though you can drive on most driveways, many of them do need to be replaced. Number four, plan on putting 5% of your monthly payment into an account for repairs. Even a brand new house needs repairs. So if your loan payment is $1,500 a month, plan on putting $75, 5% into a fund to pay for those repairs. Owning your own home can be a great investment but it can also be a catalyst for a force that I call chain reaction shopping. Chain reaction shopping is a principle that I coin that simply states that one purchase leads you to make more purchases. When you buy a home with a loan, the loan is just the start of it. There's homeowner's insurance, property taxes, water and sewer bills, electric bills, repairs, landscaping, heating bills, perhaps a longer commute, and the cost of replacing old appliances. And most important, there is your time to deal with all these things. Be sure to factor in all the costs of owning your own home before you buy one. While the film is a bit silly and a bit extreme, it does highlight a key problem that millions of Americans fell victim to in the housing bubble of 2007, buying more house than they could handle. For this, I give the film two out of three dollar signs. I'm Peter Billigus, and this is Money in the Movies. <laughs> <laughs>